Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we're going to explore, uh, I think it's a new, slightly newer release from Teeling. This is their single grain whiskey. It's kind of an interesting mash bill because it's not definitely not normal for Ireland. 95% yeah. corn. That's their single grain. They do put 5% of the barley in there, which is for fermentation purposes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But uh, that's the idea. Someone's enjoyed that bottle. Yeah, mm -hmm. we. Uh, well, you know, I, I had to touch it up a little bit for uh, St. Patty's Day and, <laughs> you know, things like that. Teeling, um, we did the regular whiskey and I really mm -hmm. very much enjoy it. They, the cool parts that Teeling have going for them as for Irish whiskeys are one, their proof. Most of the time, their whiskeys are in that 92-ish range. I like that uh, versus the 80s to 86 that you normally yeah. get from that region. And they do not chill filter. So this is pretty much as natural as you're yep. going to get. Uh, I do think this one's a little bit young, if I recall correctly, so five-ish five years. years. I know it's good. I still want to say, I think the like baseline teeling is still probably one of my favorites there, close to the green spot, which is really, really good. Just kill it, man. Just kill it. Just kill it. Just do it. Get your room to buy some more. There you go. <laughs> done. She's done. Yeah, so this one this one is finished. Yeah. California Cabernet. Ex Cabernet. Ex California Cabernet. Yeah. It's an interesting nose. It's more, that's funny, it, off the first notes, I get more of a grain note, not corn, not, and definitely not Cabernet. I'm not getting any wine note. I'm going to say I get plastic. Plastic. Okay. A little bit of a chemical-ish yeah. note. Yeah, I could see that. I kind of think it, it just might be the ethanol coming off of, yeah. of this that's somewhat not normal. Give it a taste. The initial, for me, mm -hmm. very similar to the nose. Can the plastic get, Yeah, the chemically? The, chemically, but then once it kind of kind of rolls across the palate. Sweet. Yeah, very, I get very a sweet. lot of sweet. I did not, so I did not get the chem, I do, I see where you're going with the chemical part on the nose. I didn't get that on the palate. I did get a little bit of an ethanol note in the very beginning of the palate, and then it's just like, it's really sugar. It, it's, I can't even, it's not yeah, a honey, it's, it's not sweet. vanilla, it's not caramel, it's just sugar. Still get that ethanol, slightly chemical note on the nose though. It's not a note that I recall getting the first uh, handful of times that I sampled <laughs> this guy. I, I wonder if it's just, you know, what I ate, what, you know, previous, the whiskey before or what? That initial finish in the back for me, I pick up a lot of dried fruit. Okay. Which also, it's really sweet. Yeah. I would almost think that this would have been more of a Chardonnay barrel than a cab for me. It's okay. Like a dr uh, yeah, a little bit of a white wine note yeah. to it. Okay. I could kind of see that. Because yeah, I'm thinking Cabernet red. is usually what? That's a dry red? Is that more mm -hmm. what Cab is? It's not overly sweet? Or is that the one that's more sweet? Never, I can never remember which one's which. I don't know. Can I get the... I enjoy a Cab, but is it Merlot that's more sweet than a Cab? Yeah, I think Merlot is the one that's more sweet. So, yeah. so where... Was this purchased local? Yeah. Yep. Uh, no, I don't really remember much. Liquor store. <laughs> yes, this is definitely a... Uh, this is local purchase. White After bottle. I had the clear first clear bottle, too. Yeah. They don't do the green. Not a green, not a like a brownish or any of that yeah. kind of stuff. They, uh, but after I had had the first one, that ba their baseline one, I really, really enjoyed their baseline. I was just like, oh, I, I'm going to try to start grabbing ones that I see them. I saw single grain. I'm like, oh, that's got to be pretty good too. Like I said, I think I prefer their baseline, which is still 92 proof. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's chill filtered, but it's more of that traditional Irish where it's the pot still. Yep. You know, it's malted on malted barley, so it's got a lot of those honey and sweet notes in there. Where this, the corn comes off funny. I don't, I don't know what it, why, but it just comes off a little funny. Yeah, I, I can't get past that chemically plasticky smell. But when you drink it, you kind of, I get it. So again, I get it on the front, but it is just super sweet. Yeah, I get just a lot of, like sugar. Yep. 
I, I can't water. even say it's... I sugar can't, water. Yeah. It's, yes. It's a lot like uh, simple syrup. Yeah. It's like drinking simple syrup with... A tent. Uh, yeah. A tent and some proof to it. It's odd that I get a little bit more of a grain note that I wouldn't expect off of a 95% corn. Mm, whatever. Uh, what What are some of the other fun parts with this one? We did the one Irish whiskey. Oh, what the heck was that? That ultimately was actually founded by Teeling. The brothers that run this, their father founded one and ended up selling it. Now I can't think of the name of that whiskey. I'll put that there. Um. <laughs> I, I do enjoy the aftertaste, the, the, the lingering Kind of it nutty. Sits nicely. It's still yeah. sweet, yeah. but it's not as sweet as right across the palate. Yes, a little bit of caramel on that lingering aftertaste. Yeah, there's a sweet, there's a sweet fruit, little nut. The non-chill filter. I... There's a lot of oil there. Yeah. So it does. It sits. It I lingers. don't. This might be the first one where I said I've enjoyed the aftertaste more than anything else. Well, we, like we said, there's the three, right? <laughs> you definitely did not enjoy the nose. No. And, and yeah, I go backwards. That initial palate is a little funny. The middle palate is really sweet yep. sugar, it, it just like granulated sugar, simple syrup. And then yeah, the end is nice. There's still that a little bit of a funniness though. Yeah. Even in the finish. For 50-ish bucks, mm -hmm. I, I like that at, at the proof point, things like that. At $50, I'd probably either go down and buy the baseline teeling because that's 40 bucks, mm -hmm. I believe, or 30-something bucks, or I'd go up another 10 bucks and get the green spot. Yeah. Uh, both I'd of those, my opinion, both of those up. are better than, than this particular release. I'm curious what if it's... Because it's in wine, they finish it in wine barrels. If that's what throws it off, maybe I don't know what it's picking up off of the wine or the fact. It's good. So totally sound wrong, but or the fact that the Irish people are trying to make stuff with corn. That's not what they're supposed to do. That's not how they make their whiskey. They make their whiskey with the barley's. Yep. No, yeah. they're doing what we're doing over here. Yeah, playing around, right? Yeah. I mean, that's how many local American distilleries are doing malts and and all the things that that they're trying to do, that they're doing Scotland and Ireland. So, they're, yeah, they're, they're playing around. It's working for a, a one in Texas. Yeah, Balcones, yeah. absolutely. I would prefer... I wouldn't order it at a bar. No, I would prefer the regular teeling or the green spot would be the way I would go versus this particular release of teeling. I will continue to look for other teelings because mm -hmm. that baseline was so good. I, I do want to find, I, there's got to be a release that they do that's a higher level release that's amazing. So, we'll, we'll see what we, see may what not we get find. It. We may not get it here. That is a possibility. Yeah, oh, not one of my favorites. <laughs> I agree. Be honest. I, agree. I, I, I think the, the nose just threw it off for me. Yeah, I had higher expectations when I bought this pile. It's still, I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's still good to drink and is one that I've just tested with random people to, to see what their thoughts were. But sweet is the name of the game, but mm -hmm. I agree. There is a funny nose. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Funk. I don't know what it is. The I don't know what it is. No. Odd. No. That's fine. We'll move on. Yeah. We'll move on. We'll move on. We so. will find others that are yeah. better. Well, with that, we hope you enjoyed our, our review on the teeling. Uh, if we miss something, let us know or yeah. if you know what's kind of what we're thinking is throwing us off drop us a message because i would i would love to know yeah what what yeah. that is what that note is but that's doing that we hope you enjoyed the review if you did we encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen while you're down there if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we put on a new episode and thanks for watching see you on the next episode cheers, cheers. cheers.